good afternoon everyone in today's video we are going to be looking at invest 95l to start off an already active main development region it has an 80 percent chance of a cyclone formation in seven days and could bring a threat to the caribbean here we are looking at the current satellite imagery of this afternoon on june 27th you can see we have two systems out right now in the Atlantic that we are uh, currently monitoring. We have Invest 94L, which is going to be heading through the Gulf of Mexico. And we also have Invest 95L, which currently has an 80% chance of a cyclone information in seven days. And this is expected to go through portions of the Caribbean. Now, here's a seven day graphical tropical weather look from the National Hurricane Center. And as you can see on the left is Invest 94L, and on the right is Invest 95L in the red. We have the 80% chance of cyclone information in seven days. Uh, and this is noted from the National Hurricane Center a tropical wave located several hundred miles west southwest of the Cabo Verde Islands continues to produce this organized shower and thunderstorm activity environmental conditions are forecast to be conducive and development of the system is anticipated a tropical depression or tropical storm is likely to form this weekend several hundred miles east of the windward islands while the system moves westward at 15 to 20 miles per hour interest in the lesser antilles should monitor the progress of the system in this 94l is definitely not as concerning right now it only has a 30 percent chance of cyclone formation and that's because it's going to be headed through portions of central america and mexico uh which is really not going to give it that much time to develop over the next week now look at the 12z gfs model uh this is invest 95l right down here and here is somewhere 94l somewhere in there uh this is going to be right now so there's not much going on we could definitely see invest 95l definitely has some convection surrounding it as we had around 24 hours from now so this is going to be about 7 a.m june 28th central time so this will be around 9 a.m for the eastern portions of the caribbean um and as you can see we're already starting to see signs of intensification uh tomorrow morning as we had throughout later friday you can see uh those iso bars are really starting to increase and tighten up uh and we could see possibly a tropical depression by this weekend even a potential tropical storm uh, this is definitely going to get named uh, within the next five, four or five days, um, depending on the conditions it's going to be heading through. But as you can see, by around 6 p.m. Saturday, uh, this is already a full-blown potential tropical storm. And this is going to continue as a tropical storm as we head uh, through late Sunday. And this is when it really starts to intensify into possibly a hurricane, even a major hurricane already possible. Um, and this is going to be around Monday to Tuesday, uh, which heads through portions of the Lesser Antilles. Uh, the GFS has this as a, as a very strong storm. Eventually, it starts to head more north into portions of Jamaica and Cuba. And that's when it really starts to weaken because of all that land it encountered. As it enters the Gulf, though, it really stays the same as it did as it hit Cuba. And maybe hitting Mexico as a uh, tropical depression or subtropical storm and if we take a look back here uh, around late monday you can see here uh, we have another system that's trailing right behind it and that's also something we need to monitor as well that's another storm that's going to be heading through the lesser antilles of course not as strong not near as strong but definitely another system that could bring thunderstorms and rains um two portions of the dominican republic and haiti so once again another thing we need to keep an eye on uh, with that uh it, it is already looking like a very active season as it is late june and we might see our first major hurricane of the season now looking at the spaghetti models the malatrack guidance you can see here we have a lot of models that are agreeing so far as going to be heading through the southern lesser antilles uh going through just south of the dominican republic haiti 
And then uh, right now it's looking like uh, a very close call to Jamaica. So I expect Jamaica to have impacts as well as Cuba, Haiti, and Dominican Republic will have impacts, uh, but I don't expect a landfall there. Of course, this is still in the main development region. So it's going to be a lot of time that these tracks could change. They could be heading more south. They could be heading more north. Uh, the, Bermuda, the Bermuda High is expected to be a lot further east. So it doesn't look like this will be a threat to the Bahamas or Florida or anything. So I do expect this to mainly stay in this box for the most part unless any uh types of winds change uh with the system and looking at model intensity guidance we have a lot of models that are showing up now on model intensity guidance uh we have around 24 hours from now it's expected uh to become tropical storm strength um uh, some of these models have it very quickly developing and we could see a category one hurricane as soon as 60 hours um even a cat 2 by three days from now and then we have a lot of models that are reaching category 3 status and even the hwfi reaching cat 4 some are in high end cat 3 as well so uh there are signs that this uh, storm could become a very strong hurricane before it does impact any land however as we look at the shear values right now the red is unfavorable conditions for tropical cyclones a yellow is neutral, so uh, a strong cyclone could definitely uh, make it through the neutral. And then green is favorable conditions. As of right now, we have some unfavorable conditions across the Caribbean uh, with up to 30 to 40 knots of wind shear. Um, that is definitely a little bit unfavorable conditions right now, but there's still a lot of time for this storm. Uh, so uh, this wind shear could definitely move out or weaken across this general area. Um, but it is definitely not a significant amount of moisture as you can see up here we have more of 50 to 60 knots that is some very strong wind shear it could tear up a storm really quickly but that's over the united states right now we have 20 30 to 40 knots of wind shear across this area uh and that's really not going to stay there for reference here's 95 l right down here it is uh in some favorable conditions right now uh it could definitely make it through and storms like this um it could definitely make it through a bit of this wind shear um before it starts to die out so i think this storm could definitely have a very good chance and the National hurricane center has is very confident that this storm uh could form into a tropical storm or hurricane and lastly we'll look at the saharan air layer so this is pretty much um saharan dust coming off of africa and it's also showing kind of dry air as you can see right now it's pretty clear except uh, we have a little thing of dust uh it is not very strong dust at all so this is really not going to affect it uh 95 dollars just below a big chunk of dust coming off of africa right now uh so it is pretty in pretty moist conditions that's going to be going across this area so again yellows are pretty weak dry air so there's still a lot of moist air there's still a lot of moist air in that area as you can see less is yellows and then more is even up to whites um and we are just on the lower scale of less so if i put the screen down a little bit you can see that but less is yellows so really not that much dry air in the way of this thing and this could definitely have a good chance of becoming our second named storm of the season if you did enjoy the video be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new and turn on post notifications so you won't miss a single upload or live stream on the channel like the video and stay tuned for more hurricane updates as always i'll see you in the next one stay safe